During the science lesson, students explore light and mirrors. The learning objectives are that students will be able to model how light can reflect or bounce off from the surface of a mirror, uh, and they will also be able to explain how light travels in a straight line until it hits an object. I woke up in the middle of the night, this is actually a funny story, and because I felt something crawling on my head. Yeah. And I thought it was a spider, so I ran to the bathroom, but I couldn't see anything in the mirror. Why was that? Why couldn't I see in the mirror? There was no light. There was no light. I was like so scared that I forgot to turn on the light. So without light, we can't what? Z. So I remembered as I ran, turned on the light. So without light, we can't what? Z. So I remembered as I ran, turned on the light, and then I was able to see my hair in the mirror. And there wasn't anything. I think I was dreaming. <laughs> but <laughs> what did I see in the mirror? What do you think I saw? I saw nothing, are you sure? You saw you. yourself. I saw my yeah. reflection, yeah. So that's a key word that we're going to uh, be going over today. So what we know about light and mirrors is that we need light to see our reflection. So the original plan was actually to go outside and explore light with mirrors, but it was a rainy, cloudy day, so I had to deviate from my lesson. And instead of pushing, you know, my science lesson, and you know, another day or two, I decided to just use flashlights. Um, so it actually ended up working out much better. So here I am explaining the investigation with my students, just how to use the mirror, how not to use the mirror. Um, and I also explained to them how they're going to partner up with a friend and they are going to explore mirrors using a flashlight together. So I'm just reviewing that with them. I want you guys to find out what mirrors do what cool things you could do, figure out how they work, okay, and see what interesting things that uh, you can do with them. I see it. Jaden, what do you see? I see Where is it, Jaden? What? Okay, and where does the like, where did it come from? Okay. What do you think that happened? I think it happened because In these next few videos, students pair up with the partner and they explore mirrors with flashlights. Students find that when they aim the flashlight at the mirror, light bounces off the mirror from? and onto the wall or onto another person. So where did the light go? When you pointed out the mirror, where did it go? Turn your head, it's actually behind you. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> what do you think happens? Take the mirror away. Shine it over here. And now you see it. Is it behind you? This next video was really neat because uh, this one student um, didn't realize that when she shined the light onto the mirror, um, it, it bounces actually back behind her and so she was pretty shocked about that and it was just neat to see how her mind worked and how she made that connection um, and you know for her to realize that it was just really neat to watch and unfold. During part two of our investigation, students um, 
go back to their desks uh, with I their mirrors, see Melinda's and they explore the、um, reflection actually with mirrors. And、uh, we allowed students to just, you know, play around with the mirrors and see what、uh, they can see, you know, when they move the mirror around and stuff like that. And it was really neat、uh, to, you know, watch them make different discoveries. So what was neat about this investigation is that students actually made their own discoveries, ones that I hadn't even considered. And one of those was that students realized that when they read something in the mirror that was behind them, the word was backwards. So I decided to write a word on a note card, and I went around and I asked students to use their mirrors to read the word on the note card, and it was just pretty neat to see them make that discovery on their own.、Um, so yeah, that was my highlight of the day. <laughs> So I really wanted to see what my students were walking away with, and so I created a poster called "My Aha Moment." And I wanted I asked students to share, you know, just one to two sentences, one neat discovery that they made、um, with lights and mirrors. So I decided to use the sticky note thinking activity as a final word on learning moment.、Um, just you know, to wrap it up, I wanted to give students the opportunity to share one neat discovery that they made, and you know, students love to share and they love sticky notes. So I figured this would be the perfect thing for them.、Um, and also, you know, it's something that I could collect and read later and really assess、uh, myself. You know, what they truly learned,、um, and I wanted. It to be, you know, very meaningful and memorable, and so after they wrote down their thoughts,、um, we shared it with the class. <laughs> 